So what is the relationship between the apparitions of Our Lady in Garibandal and the Latin Mass, or the Old Mass, or Extraordinary Form, however you want to call it? What's the relationship between the two? As a, as a priest, I've been to Garibandal twice, and I've been able to offer the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass um, in the traditional form uh, every time I've been there. It hasn't been easy, though, because the parish priests of Garibandal won't let you offer the Old Mass in the parish church in spite of the motu proprio. If you wish as a priest to offer the Old Mass in Garibandal, I suggest that you use your hotel room to say the Old Mass. Or if it's a really uh, pleasant day, you could even try offering the Old Mass up at the Pines. There's a little um, commemorative statue in honour of St. Padre Pio, where fittingly it says the world could easier live without the sun than without the Mass. And I found that on that little commemorative stone, it's possible to offer the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass if you have all the equipment with you and if it's a sunny day. In fact, that was the first place that I offered Holy Mass in Garabandao, and it was a really beautiful experience. But in terms of the relationship between the apparitions of Garabandal and the Old Mass, what can be said? Well, first of all, there's the fact that the children during the whole course of the apparitions were only t attending the old mass. There was no new mass, the Novus Ordo hadn't been invented at that point. And so the children's piety revolved around attending the holy sacrifice of the mass, the extraordinary form, the only form that existed. What really surprises me, or may surprise you, um, if you've heard various stories about how people attended Holy Mass back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, is that the children actively participate in the sacred liturgy. That is, they are well aware of what is going on at the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. They follow along perfectly the rubrics and the actions of the priest and are competent enough to kind of discuss how or in what manner each priest has offered Holy Mass, and they're compliment priests on having offered Holy Mass in a beautiful manner. We see that in the case of Father Andreu, and we see it in the case of other priests that they, they notice said Mass with a particular degree of devotion. So Garabandal is linked to the Old Mass in as much as the children during the times of the apparitions were attending the Old Mass as often as they possibly could. And we're told that when the priest didn't offer Holy Mass in the village, on those days, the angel would apparently bring the children Holy Communion. What else can be said of Garabandal and the Old Mass? Well, we don't have any prophetic warnings of Our Lady about the alteration of the sacred liturgy. In a previous video, I mentioned how Our Lady seems to have some striking things to say about the Vatican Council. She doesn't have the same things to be said about there, there being a new rite of mass emerging. But maybe we can point to some things Our Lady says about the disrespect towards the Blessed Sacrament. She says the Eucharist is given less and less reverence or less adoration is offered towards our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. She asks us to visit the Blessed Sacrament frequently and that she laments the fact that people are, are indifferent towards our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. I think we can all agree that at the New Mass, this kind of disrespect towards our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament is far more prevalent than in the traditional rite. Also, in terms of link between Garabandal and the Old Mass, we have the fact that the children, of course, only received the Blessed Sacrament on their tongues. Those children would have, wouldn't have been able, able to fathom the idea that a Catholic would go up to the altar and receive the Blessed Sacrament on their hands. I mean, the, ch the children would never have been able to have grasped that as even a possibility. And no wonder the angel that brought them Holy Communion, he brought them Holy Communion and placed it on their tongues. So that's, again, something that is mandatory in the old rite of the Mass. There's no ability to receive Holy Communion sacrilegiously, uh, sacrilegiously in your hands. It's only possible to receive Holy Communion upon the tongue.
What further points can be made about the links between Garabandal and the old rite of mass? We can also say that traditional Catholic orders and priestly societies have had a liking towards the apparitions at Garabandal. I know when I first visited Garabandal and I had ran out of altar wine and I asked the priest in Garabandal if I could have some altar wine in order to offer mass privately, he presumed that I was a member of the SSPX and that suggested to me that, that lots of priests from the society must occasionally be visiting Garabandal. I know from a personal interview that Bishop Williamson, um, the great uh, defender of Catholic tradition, is a strong supporter in the veracity of the apparitions of Our Lady at Garabandal. And of course, he's a priest who has exclusively said the old rite of the Mass the whole of his life. So there's a, there's a link between orders that solely offer the extraordinary form and Garabandal, in as much as these orders tend to visit Garabandal. They tend to visit Garabandal, and for whatever reason, they tend to have some kind of support of the apparitions, even though, as I mentioned in the last video, there's a kind of ambiguity about the relationship between the council and Garabandal. So how to conclude this subject on the relationship between the Old Mass and the apparitions at Garabandal? Well, we should note that the children, as they grew up, they didn't continue attending the old rite, at least from the evidence that's on the internet. Like the whole world, they attended the Novus Ordo, but that's all that was available to them for the most part. It's only, let's not forget, it's only really in the last 10 to 15 years that the old mass has really proliferated around the world after the motu proprio. So maybe it's no surprise that the children, even though they drew so much and received so many graces from attending the Mass of Ages in the days of the apparitions, in their adulthood, they were unable to continue attending the Old Mass. Perhaps, perhaps they prefer it. We, we don't really know. No one's asked them that kind of question. And um, maybe that's, that's reflective of of the, the 70s, 80s, 90s, the time when the children were being interviewed as young adults. The old mass was just a, a non-issue. It was banned as far as most people were concerned. And so no one was asking the children whether they preferred the old mass, whether they felt it was holier, whether they felt that Our Lady preferred the old rite of mass. No one was asking them that kind of question. It wasn't in anyone's mindset. What else can be said to conclude? My experience of visiting Medjugorje, I visited there once with a, with a pilgrimage of youngsters, and I said the old mass there every day. But what I will say is that whereas while I was at Garabandal, there were plenty of other pilgrims to Garabandal who were interested in attending the old mass. That wasn't the case at Medjugorje. Medjugorje is definitely the apparition of the new charismatic religion of the Catholic Church. It's a new religion and an apparition for a new religion. Garabandal, the spirituality, the core of it is the spirituality of the unchanging truths of the Catholic faith. And so that's why the Mass of Ages kind of slots in more harmoniously with the apparitions of Garabandal because all the elements of popular piety, traditional elements of popular piety, the Sacred Heart, the Brown Scapula, spiritual communions, visiting the Blessed Sacrament, the Stations of the Cross. Um, they're all there, all night vigils. They're all there at the apparitions of Garabandal in a way that, that Medjugorje, you know, Medjugorje is, is singing Kumbaya in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Medjugorje is, is kind of modernist looking Stations of the Cross. Of course, plenty of people going to Medjugorje are imbued with traditional Catholic piety. I'm not going to deny that. But the things Our Lady is purported to say at Medjugorje, they don't support popular piety and they don't support the spirituality of the old rite of the Mass. In fact, as I mentioned on another video, Our Lady almost never mentions the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass at Medjugorje. And she certainly doesn't talk about... Um, receiving Holy Communion on the tongue, something that only happened at Garabandal. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, 
The relationship between the Latin Mass and Garabandal is kind of nuanced, but the two are supportive. And that's why I felt whenever I've gone to Garabandal and offered the old rite, I kind of felt that I'm really re-entering into the same spirit that the children uh, had in the days of the apparitions. It's an element of continuity. So much has changed um, in, in the world and so much unfortunately has changed in the village. It's not the same backward village where everyone is going to say the rosary at 6 p.m. in the evening. They're all in their homes watching television. But when you go to or attend the old mass in Garabandal, you capture something of the days of the apparitions. And I can't wait for the time when eventually the parish priests of Garabandal will once again allow visiting priests to offer the, the unchanging rite of mass in the church where the children attended the unchanging rite of mass on the days that they also saw Our Lady and the Guardian Angel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.